Hey gang, welcome to your 16th OAuth tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about our cookie session. Alright, so in the last video we had a look at these two functions right here. And serialize user is taking a user right here from the callback function and it's saying, well okay, I want to take an identifying piece of information from that user so that we can stuff it in a cookie, send it to the browser. So it's done that, it's grabbed the ID and it's called the done method, which is saying, okay, I'm done here. I'm just going to use this to stuff in the cookie. Vice versa, deserialize user is taking an ID when the browser sends the cookie back and we receive that ID. And then we're finding the user based on the ID and we're calling done and passing in that user. So what this is going to do for us later on is attach the user property to the request object inside this thing down here. Okay so that we can access it in a route handler. And we're gonna see that later on. But for now, I wanna set up our application so that we can use session cookies. So to do that, we're gonna to have to install another module and that's called cookie session. So let's go to app.js. We're gonna to have to require that there in a minute. But the first thing I wanna do is open up the console and I'm gonna say npm install and it's called cookie hyphen session, okay? so. That'll just take a minute to install. I'll see you when it's complete. Okay, that's all done my end now. So the next thing I need to do is require cookie session inside this app.js. So I'm going to come under keys and I'll say const and call this cookie session and set that equal to require. And it's cookie hyphen session. Okay, so we're going to use this cookie session to control our session, our user's session, right? So it's going to take our cookie, set a max age to it and encrypt it using a key and send it to the browser because we don't want to send our normal ID to the browser because then anyone can see it that's using that browser. We want to encrypt it first of all using a key and then send that to the browser. Then when the cookie comes back to us, we can decrypt it. Okay. So the way we're going to set up this cookie session to run is by using it down here. So I'll say app dot use and we're going to use cookie session like so and this takes in an object as a parameter and this object needs two properties first of all the max age so this is going to be the max age of the cookie that we send out so for example if i want one day this value needs to be in milliseconds so i'll say 24 for 24 hours in the day times 60 for minutes in an hour times 60 for seconds in a minute and then times 1000 for milliseconds in a second. So now we have a day in milliseconds inside this max age property. Awesome. The next property is going to be a property called keys. So like I said, we want to encrypt our cookie. We don't just want to send the user ID straight to the browser. So this array right here can take any number of keys and it's going to use one of those keys to encrypt the ID so that it's encrypted by the time it reaches the browser. So we can pass in a string here of anything you want like that, and that's going to encrypt it. However, I'm not going to store this key right here. I'm going to store it in our keys file. OK, so we can keep it a little bit more private. So I'll delete that from here and save it and go over to keys.js. And right here is where I'm going to add in the key for our cookie session. So we'll add in a property called session, which is an object. And then the cookie key is going to be right there. And let's just make up a random string. So I'm going to say the net ninja is awesome, I guess. I'm guessing no one's going to guess that that comes to my website. So that's going to be my cookie key that it's going to use to encrypt the ID. So let's use this now over here. We've already imported the keys. So I can say keys.session.cookie key. Okay, so we're going to use that now, this thing right here, to encrypt our cookie when we send it to the browser. So the next thing we need to do inside this file is to say, OK, we want passport to initialize first of all and then to use cookies. We want to use session cookies, right? So just two quick lines we need to do to say that. So let's just say initialize passport right here. And then underneath, I'm going to say app.use. And we've already imported passport, have we? No, we've not. So let's import that first of all. Say down here, const passport is equal to require passport, like so. 
But then down here, I'm going to say app.use, and this is some middleware we're using right here, passport dot initialize. So we're initializing passport in our application right here. Um, I can never spell this, initialize. Okay, so that's a function. And then the next line we need to write is app.use again to say that we want to use passport dot session to control our login in. Okay, so we're using session cookies. Okay, so that's really all we need to do now to set up our cookies. So now what's going to happen is when we serialize this user, we're going to attach this user ID to a cookie. Then this thing over here is going to encrypt that cookie and make sure that it's just a day long. Then it's going to send it to the browser and the browser is going to receive that cookie. Okay, and this is all happening once a user is logged in. Because remember, once they've logged in, we're firing this callback function right here, which then skips over to here, it says done, etc. And it goes on and on and it sends that response to the user. All right. So now we've set up our cookies. In the next video, we're going to test it out and see if these cookies are reaching the browser and what happens when the browser makes another request.